Hi guys, welcome to Scalist. On this video, I want to show you three use cases to use Scalist to export emails from LinkedIn as well as Sales Navigator. Let's get started. Once you created your account, you need to go on the Chrome extension store so that you can install the Scalist extension as well. You simply add to Chrome, add extension, and it's going to add it onto your extension bar, just right on the top. Next up, let's go first on LinkedIn to visit a unique LinkedIn profile. Here I visited Arno Renu's profile from the Scale app. There's nothing that appeared yet, but just to make sure that the extension works, please refresh the page first. You will see at the bottom of the page has appeared a button called Get Email with the Scalist logo here. I can simply click on it to get the email, it's going to verify it, and it's going to prompt me to either add to an existing list or to create a new list. Let's create a new list for this example. I'm going to call it TSL Test. OK. It's going to be extracting the information, and then it's going to tell me it has added it. So when I go to my Scalist dashboard, I can see that the list TSL test has been created. I can rename it, of course, and it contains the information from Arno Renu, including his valid email address. Here, what you see is simply a quick overview of the data that you can get, but there's a lot more data that you will get when you export the CSV. Things like the, lo the location, the company size, as well as the website and so on. So here, if I click on export, I'm going to get more, but I can also go back to LinkedIn, visit more profiles and add them to the same list. Let's look at now a use case on LinkedIn Sales Navigator. When you're in Sales Navigator, make sure to refresh the page so that it also loads the extension on this page as well. Let's try to do a whole lead search now. So if you click on lead filter, you can select any filter that you want to produce a full search. For reasons of privacy, we're going to select the company that we're familiar with. Here, I select this and it's going to tell me that there are 19 results. As you can see, it has also loaded the button from Scalist called Extract Email List. This means that it's going to extract the whole 19 results onto a list without me having to do anything. I can also visit individual profiles and export the leads individually if I want. As you can see, Get Email, it's going to prompt me to add into a list and I can do as I want. This is the second use case. So here, let's make sure that we extract the whole list and we get all the people's email address that are then yet ready to use for outreach. Once you click, it's going to prompt you on, onto the dashboard and start making the extraction here. After a few minutes, my list has been created. I can also rename it if I want, and it tells me all the emails that I got. So I extracted 19 leads, 15 valid emails, and one risky. A risky email is an email for which we are not necessarily able to define the validity so it's really up to to use, but you're not going to get charged for it. We recommend only using valid emails. So next up, if I want to get all the details and use them for an outreach, I can export the CSV simply by clicking here. But I already made the effort for you, and we can take a look at the list. As you can see, the list is fully cleaned. So first names and last names do not include any capital letters, or also they don't have any uh, emojis or anything else. Job titles as well, same thing, they're easy, easy to use. Company names, they don't contain any limited LLC or any other denomination. The Scale Lab, for instance, legal name is the Scale Lab Limited, but here we don't see it. It also contains the company size, the city, the country, website, and as well as the email and the ones that you can actually use. Simple to go and ready to use.